Hey guys, my name is Daniel Mudeki and I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. Most importantly, I'd like us to thank God for enabling each and every one of us to see a new day such as this. I always sensitize you guys to remember, always give thanks to God because a new day is God's way of telling you, go, do it again. Go, be a better person. Go, do a kind deed, a kind act to other people. And so utilize the gift, which is a new day, because there are many out there who would have loved to have what it is you have, but they don't have the opportunity. So always be grateful to God for that. I know there are some of you who are watching this video today and things are tough for you. You've been going through a very difficult time, but I want to tell you, be strong, take courage, don't give up. Nothing lasts forever. Good times will come. Just make sure that you learn from this tough season that you are going through. Guys, as usual, I leave my details so you can reach me out on my social media pages, my Facebook page, my Instagram page. You can also send me an email and ask me any questions you may have, any topics you'd like to suggest that you think we could do or any queries that you may have. Feel free, reach out to me and I'll try my very best to revert to each and every one of you guys for those who've not subscribed to the channel feel free press the subscription button and don't forget the notification bell so that you're always alerted when we post a new video which by the grace of god is normally each and every sunday guys as we say new week new video and uh, for the past couple of weeks we have been talking about character and some of you reached out to me and ask me to continue a little bit more about character. And today, I'd like us to look into another aspect about character. And this is, success without character is a recipe for disaster. You see guys, if you read the Bible, in the book of Genesis chapter one, from verses 26, you know, God speaks and says, let us create man in our own image and likeness. And when you read that, you understand that God created man to have his character, to have his nature, and to be like God. And so God put in man the things that he wanted to see within himself. Let us create man in our own image and likeness. Only after that was done, did he then speak and say, let us give man dominion over the things of the earth. Dominion is authority. Dominion is leadership. You see, dominion only comes after character. The leadership was to be given to man after character was developed. Let us create man in our own image and likeness. Foundation. The base that which man is to be created is a character of God. Integrity. Holiness. Loyalty. Love. And that was the foundation that God needed man to have before he could bestow upon him any of these other things. Dominion, leadership, power. And that is why in our world today, things are inverse. Things are opposite. For a lot of people, power, success has come before character. Success has come before character development and the result of this has been disastrous. Look at the political systems of the world. Look at the people who are in leadership in most of these political systems. Some of the people in leadership in organizations. Dominion to them has come before character. 
and that has been a full recipe of disaster. You see, when they read the Bible, there's a perfect example. The story of Samson. You see, Samson was to come and liberate the Israelites. And so when God ordained and spoke and said that he shall be born to his parents, the angel of the Lord actually spoke to the parents and told them how they shall raise this boy up. Because within him was a power that God had given. Within him was strength and authority and dominion that God had already put within him that was to make him a great man. But as you all know, as the story of Samson continues, his character is put into question. Because he had a weakness for females. He had a weakness for women. And where he had been told that he should marry within the Israelites, his urge, his lust, his longing for women pushed him far beyond those boundaries. And he found himself in enemy territory. A lot of times, his power took him out of trouble. But as you all know, eventually his lack of character became a recipe for disaster. And it completely destroyed his success. It completely destroyed whatever it is he was meant to achieve. How many of you today find yourselves in that situation? You see, power or leadership does not corrupt anybody. What corrupts is power without character. Because power by itself is neutral. And so how many of you watching me today have misused your positions of leadership? You have misused your positions of power. You have misused your positions of stardom celebrity status, but you have misused it because of lack of character. There are so many examples in this world where character must be the foundation that leads to success. And if they come in reverse, you're honestly in trouble. Because God's principle was, first of all, to make man have his image and likeness, his character, his being. And then he will be able to have dominion. If you look at another story that I always love telling, the story of Joseph. When Joseph was told in a dream that he would be a great man, he proudly advertised this dream to his brothers and to his father as well. And the scripture tells us that Jacob, his father, actually told him, do you mean that you will be a leader over us? And he asked him to stop that talk and forget about it. Because for me, I believe he must have been doing it from a point of pride and ego. That is the only thing that caused his brothers to be jealous over him, because he was proud about it. The truth is this, God had seen a leader in him. God had seen him do great things. But it was impossible for God to use him in that state. And so immediately after that, God had to take him through an academy of character development. The challenges, the issues, the situations that he went through for 13 years were for character development so that his character would be a foundation for the power that was coming. His character would be the foundation for the position of governor over the land of Egypt that was to be given. When he was sold into slavery, that humbled him. That enabled him to be humble. When he found himself between a rock and a hard place, 
when Potiphar's wife wanted to lay with him. He developed integrity, the ability to walk away from temptation, the ability to run away from evil. Integrity was developed at that moment. When he was in prison and he hoped that the person he had interpreted to the dream would come and save him, the guy forgot about him. God developed patience in Joseph. And so Joseph went through character development, humility, integrity, and patience. And those three things were what God needed to have a governor in Egypt. What is it that God is trying to develop in you so that he can unleash the person within you? Because if that person is unleashed without the character development, it is a complete disaster. It will be a complete disaster, my friends. And so I'll tell you, as our first video on character spoke, invest in character. Because that is what will protect that gift that is in you. These two men, Samson and Joseph, two who are chosen by God for great deeds to come, but one fails because of compromising character. The other succeeds because of upholding character. And so today, my friends, you need to understand that your character is the foundation of success. Character is foundation of success because when you have character and then success comes in, you will not be proud. You will not be selfish. You will be uncompromisable in your stand. Your values cannot be tainted. And so the success will come and find a solid foundation of character. What is it today that you're doing? That if God was to finally answer your prayers, you would still destroy yourself. I'm praying that you will sit down and seek God. Because God is the only person who can take you through a true character development course so that he can mold you to be able to handle the power that comes from within you. You see, we all know you cannot put new wine into old wineskin. And sometimes God has held back his blessings upon your life because he knows your vessel, you as a person, your character will not handle what it is he wants to give you. Your character cannot handle the blessings because you will compromise. And so he has held that back until your character is developed. Brothers and sisters, remember, character is a foundation that will support the success that is hidden within you. And so develop character. Don't allow your lack of character to compromise your gifts, to compromise your goals, to compromise your vision. In our nation today, our beautiful country of Kenya, we pray that the Lord God will be with our people in leadership. God, give them character. Character is what they do in public, in private. It's one thing. Our politicians, today they speak A, tomorrow they speak B. I pray that, Lord, you shall give them character. As we go through a season of elections, I pray that God will give you an eye to see beyond the rhetoric 
and to identify individuals with character. Individuals who will stand firm. They will not be compromised. They will not be selfish. They will be integral with those things that God will put them in charge of. As Joseph had character in his position of leadership in Egypt, so we pray that this nation will have leaders of character. But it starts with you, my viewer. You who's watching me today. It all starts with you. You must develop character so that you can identify individuals who you should keep close to you and people you should never keep, keep close to you. Thank you guys for staying tuned. I don't want to make this video too long. But I pray that you have been blessed by it. And that you've got something to look into. Look into your character and make sure that you lay a foundation that success can grow upon. And so guys, remember, kindly share these videos widely with your friends, family, relatives, so that we can impact many more people with this word of truth. For the betterment, not only of us as individuals, but of our society and our world at large. Until next time, take care. God bless. May he keep you and guide you and answer your prayers in accordance to his will. God bless.